What's up guys? So in this video, I'd like to talk about the L bracket here for the A99 Mark II. This guy here. This here is the A99 and as of making this video, there is no company currently right now that supports making the L bracket for the A99 Mark II. However, uh, I did find a universal bracket that I've been using on my A99 for just about over a year and it's been working out very good. The problem, however, and this is really the story, because I like this uh, universal bracket so much made by, I believe it's iShoot here, I had pre-ordered my A99 Mark II and then I ordered another iShoot at the same time. And then what had happened was when the iShoot came in and then my camera came in, I found out that it doesn't fit as well as I thought. So as you can see, the battery compartment on the A99 is up here and it clearly clears the bracket here. On the A99 Mark II, unfortunately, the ba battery compartment is here. So as you can see, it's probably not gonna clear. Let's see. If I wanted to put this bracket on the A99 Mark II, it would come up this way and partially cover the uh, battery compartment here. And it'll be just enough where the battery compartment won't even open. So unfortunately, as good as this bracket is, we're gonna have to do some modifications uh, in order for it to work. So up until making this video, there's no company out there that I could find that would actually make an L bracket specifically for the A99 Mark II. I've contacted RRS, which is really right stuff. And to date, they still haven't been able to make one. Granted, it's only been a, a couple of months or maybe three, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, right now, nobody has it. And even if somebody did have it, this is a $40 solution. As long as you're okay with making some minor modifications to this universal I shoot L bracket. So what we're gonna do is, because it's going to be just covering the battery compartment here, we're just gonna cut this portion off and then cut this bar off. And then on this side, what we're gonna have is this D-ring portion here where this loop holds is gonna be blocking as well. So we're gonna have to cut a little piece off there just so it sits flush enough where I'm comfortable with what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna use a Dremel with a, a cutoff blade. Uh, this is actually made of aluminum, so it should cut off pretty easy. And then um, I'm gonna take this outside, cut it off and uh, see how it fits. You can always take the L bracket off every time you wanna change your battery, that's fine. I'm the type that likes to leave my L brackets on my camera all the time. Even when I shoot with portraits, uh, the L brackets stay on and it links, uh, I have an Arca Swiss uh, clamp here that connects to my rapid strap and then um, I use that for portraits. So let's go outside, let's uh, cut off this little piece here. Let's see what it looks like and then um, we'll come back here and test it. So this solution will cost you $40 and what it'll get you is an L bracket today right now. And um, even if they did come out with an L bracket specifically made for the A99 Mark II, it may be $100 to $200. This bracket was 40 bucks. If you don't mind doing you know, some modifications like this, and if you require the battery compartment to be open or to be able to open with the bracket attached like I do, um, then this might be your answer, okay? I've looked at other universal brackets and they look great, they function well, but this seemed to be the easiest to modify using a Dremel. You could actually use a filer if you wanted to, but that might take a while. Uh, it took me a total of 15 minutes to use the Dremel to cut that piece off. All right, guys. So I basically just finished cutting this bracket here, and uh, I, I got a little I got a little sandpaper bit just so I could um, shave off the the corners so it wouldn't be as sharp. I cut this uh, portion down here. I left this tab here just so that it would still keep you know a certain amount of foundation on the bottom of the camera. And then I also uh, cut over here. I don't know if I needed to cut here, but um, if not, it's still pretty strong and pretty stable. So this universal bracket from iShoot, let me just talk a little bit about it. What it'll do is you can extend it this way and you can extend it this way. And the way it locks is these little levers here will lock into place uh, like so, and then it's stuck, okay? 
So that's pretty much the basics to this universal uh, L bracket here. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can put this on to my A99 Mark II and uh, see how it goes. And um, to be honest, uh, if this works on this A99 Mark II, I haven't even tried to put it on yet. If it does work, then, um, you know, I might just keep it, you know. Let's uh, put this on and then uh, see what it looks like. All right, so I just screwed on the, uh, the bracket, the modified bracket, the bracket that uh, I cut. And as you can see over here, I cut this portion off and now the door opens with not, not an issue at all. In fact, I may have cut a little bit too much, but as you can see, opening the battery compartment is not going to be an issue anymore. And this, uh, this bracket is pretty solid. Okay, so now onto the uh, ports on this side. This is what I was talking to you guys about. You won't be able to get to anything on this side here. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. All you have to do is if you're using a wired cable release and you know, or any other kind of cables, whether it be earphones or any of this stuff, as you can see, and I don't know if you were actually making videos why you would need a uh, L bracket, but if you did, you know, you can still use it, okay? You can still get to the ports, but for my purposes, what I would use is a cable release or a wired cable release. As you can see, the door for the cable release is here. You just lightly push that in. You get this lever and you lock it in. You get this lever over here. You lock this in. This will keep it from going up and down. And then now you have an awesome wired cable release here with, without an issue. So if you wanted to shoot in portrait mode, it's, it's gonna be no problem. And it's really solid. Anyways, as you can see here, it fits with no, no problem at all. At this side here, right? So for me though, I don't use wired cable releases only because I don't like wired cable releases. From my experiences, depending on the kind of tripod or situation or even weather conditions that you're in, this may actually move your camera, believe it or not. It may get caught, wrapped. The wind might blow this and then, you know, this may move the camera. and the way I shoot, uh, I'm a stitcher. So as a stitcher, if I have 100 photos that I want to stitch together and one of those photos are a blurry photo, guess what, my whole photo is, is my whole image is dead, done. So I, instead of taking that chance, I have this remote here, which I'll put a link at the bottom too. And this will actually uh, allow me to, to enable the shutter. I actually use the two second button here. So uh, it'll go two seconds and then it, it, uh, the, uh, it'll open the shutter for whatever uh, I have it manually set to. So in any case, long story short, looks like it works perfectly. I'm a happy camper. This thing is solid. It's not going to move. And um, another thing here is you see how this flange comes out. You just have to line it up to the bottom of the door here uh, of, the, of, of the hinge actually. And then um, your uh, LCD panel will come out with no issues at all, right? So, so again, I'll put a link down for this uh, universal L bracket here. And again, it's temporary. So until they come out one, with one specifically for the A99 Mark II, I think this will, will do just fine. In fact, I think this will do perfectly fine. This will be very good for my needs here. In fact, I'm probably going to lock it in and, uh, and uh, just use it like this.